Hey guys, it's Dane and welcome back to Kay's Place. So, it took me forever to be able to get back down here and do the rest of this haul for you guys. So, I picked up a few things at Walmart and Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree. It's been a long time since I've done I, even this substantial of a haul from Dollar Tree. They just haven't had anything lately. At least not mine. Mine haven't really had anything. Just a lot of like junky stuff really lately. Um, or at least stuff I didn't need. I did take a lot of pictures though while I was there because they had quite a few really cute things. Or they had several cute things. So I took a bunch of pictures. So, um, I did pick up a few things at Walmart that I'm going to show you guys. And I picked up the cutest little pins at Walgreens that I'm going to show you guys that are left over from Easter. So, I'm going to show you those pins first and then I'll start with Walmart and then I'll end with Hobby Lobby. So, these pins were on clearance from Leftover at Easter and I think they were $1.50 a piece. And they're called Pom Pom Pins and I figured I'd put them up for next Easter and put them in some Happy Mail. This is what they look like. This one's the bunny. And they are so soft. I mean, they're, so, they're like stuffed animal soft. This is the pink one. And this one's blue. And this is the lamb. Look at those little eyes. Are they not adorable? But they are like stuffed animal soft. So soft. And they have a decent little, you can't see it. But they have a decent little point there too. They're so stinking cute. And I thought these would be so cute in some Happy Mail like in a loaded envelope or something. They're adorable. So then in the clearance section at Walmart, I picked this up to give to my grandson. Yes, I know it's pink, but pigs are pink. And this is exactly what I plan on telling my son. But it says, my first piggy bank. And he was 50% off. And so he was like $3 and like 45 cents or something. But he is so stinking cute. Look at that face. He's adorable. And he's got the little thing on the bottom to turn to get the change out of. But he's so cute. And he's a plush piggy. He's so cute. What a pig. Look at the ears. He's so cute. One little ear curls forward. He is so stinking cute. And if my son says he doesn't have hard eyes, his eyes are so in. If my son says one word to me about the fact this pig is pink, I'm going to tell him, pigs are pink. They ain't green, they ain't blue, pigs are pink. So, got this from my grandson. <laughs> and then I picked up some wacka packs And I only picked up three. I probably should have picked up more than three. But I only picked up three for next Easter, and they were 45 cents. And then I picked up these cute springtime pencils. And there's like some watercolored... They almost look like watercolored tulips or something on a purple background, and then there's flowers. See that? I mean, oh, you tell me what you think that design is. And then flowers. But, yeah. So, picked those up. They were 45 cents. And then I picked up this. I've ordered some off Amazon, but I'm impatient. I ordered some self laminating film. I have a laminator, but I need something to laminate only one side of something. So I picked up some self laminating film. And this is just by Duct Tape or by Duck Brand. It's clear laminate, cover surfaces or books for protection and durability. Great for school, crafts and art projects. It is 12 inches by 10 feet long. So it's 10 square feet. And it's just clear, a roll of clear laminate. Cause I just need to laminate one side of something. And it's a project that I saw and she used clear laminate sheets and but you don't use the other side you literally discard the other side you're just laminating a front side of something because you can't laminate the back side so I'm like let's give this a shot while I'm waiting on my laminate sheets to come in so I picked this up and that is everything I picked up at Walmart. So, on to the Dollar Tree. It's literally freezing in my basement. My husband has got to fix it so it's not so cold down here. I picked up this little stand so that I could watch YouTube videos at my desk down here. It's this cute little filigree stand. They had cute little like paper clip holders that had like the little rubberized mat in the bottom. 
and they had these in white, purple, and pink, I believe. White, purple, and pink. But I like the white one. But they're really cute, and they're metal. So this is actually a business card holder, so I went ahead and picked this up for my phone. I picked up this creme de skin nutri nutrition. It's hyaluronic acid, 1% vitamin C serum. It's a clinical formula to improve skin texture and clarity with intense moisture and balanced skin brightness and whiteness. So, it's actually something to help your skin, like, moisturize your skin. And I've got, like, severely dry hands right now. So, I'm not so worried about my face, but I've got really, really dry hands and, like, dry elbows. And it says you can, it's actually for your face and neck, but it says you can put it on any area of your skin that's super, super dry. So, I thought I'd give it a shot. So you're supposed to use it twice a day, once in the morning and once at night. Thought I'd give it a shot. I might use it around my eyes too for my little crow's feet. Who knows? We'll give it a shot. So, I also picked up these Comped Protects and Cushions Blisters, stays in place, provides optimal cushion from rubbing and pressure. They're blister cushions. These are the medium ones. And there are five, 4.2 by 6, or they're 1.6 by 2.6 inch blister cushions. And these are the medium size ones. And I picked up two packages of these because come summer, we're in sandals and what have you. We all get blisters. So I keep these on hand for summer and at a dollar a pack. It was well worth it to pick up two. I probably should have picked up more. And I picked up some of these Clean Life Multi-Purpose Cleaning Cloths. There's two in each pack. They are 12 by 12. They are made by Pest, the uh, Offertex company. They're made in Israel. I have the white ones that are made for the um, wood, glass, leather, and electronics. And I like them. But they're white. <laughs> they're solid white. They're super soft. They're super absorbent. They work really well. But they're solid white. So when I saw these today in blue and green, I was really happy that they had them in a colored fabric. So I went ahead and picked up two of these in the colored fabric as well. I like the white ones. I can bleach them and they work really well. But I also was really happy to have them in a colored fabric so I can differentiate between what I'm using them to clean for. Clean, you know. Like if I'm using them for my bathroom or my kitchen or to dust with, what have you. So I picked up two packs of those. And then I saw these, and these are like shadow box frames. And say keep it simple, which I plan on taking this off. And it's just a little piece of cardboard and then it starts inside the back of the frame. And it's like a little shadow box. Well, a while back I had seen this really cute picture. And it was a picture of a unicorn with flowers and it had sequins inside of it. And like seed beads and stuff and it hung on the wall. And I really wanted it. My husband's like, you can't buy that because you can make something just as cute as that. So you can't buy it. And I was like, seriously? He's like, no, you can't buy it because you can make something just as cute. So I've been searching for a frame that I could make something <clears throat> just as cute for my husband. <laughs> so I found these at the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep this gold, but I need to get rid of this little keep it simple phrase on the inside. And as soon as I do, I'm gonna make something just as cute. So I did pick up three of these frames. Because when I make something just as cute, I might want to share it and make something just as cute for a friend. So I picked up three of these. Then I did find a set of stickers that I liked. I haven't bought any stickers at the Dollar Tree recently. These are Jot stickers and they're called Glitter Stickers. Um, there are 87 stickers and it's a three pack. So this is the first set that you get. And this one's actually dimensional. And so is the car. 
then you flip these are kind of like some word stickers here and then you get some alphas so I really like this set they had several sets like this and I did take some pictures when I was at the Dollar Tree and I'll insert those at the end of this video for you guys so now on to Hobby Lobby they had all of their trim by the roll all their trim that they sell by the foot on sale for 50% off so there were a couple that I was kind of eyeing that I wanted and I did go ahead and pick up two of the ones that I wanted. So there was this really pretty cream lace and I did go ahead and pick that up. And that's what this one is here. I picked up three yards of this one here. This one's regularly I think $1.99 a yard. So I went ahead and picked up three yards of this one. And then I picked up two yards of this one here that I've had my eye on. This one's regularly $4.99 a yard. There's some that I want that are $6.99 a yard. And I still didn't buy those because one yard is just not enough. And I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But this one is $4.99 a yard. And I did go ahead and get two yards of this because they're so, so pretty. So, and then all of their um, Sewology things are on sale for 40% off. So I did pick up some of that. Um, I burned the snot out of myself the other day with my glue gun. So I broke down while I was there and picked up some of these. I know that Mod Podge has some, but Singer also has some. So I picked up some of the heat resistant finger guards by Singer. At Hobby Lobby, they were $4.99, and I did not use my 50 my 40% off coupon because I used it on something else. But I did pick some of these up because I didn't want to burn my fingers anymore. So, on to my Sewology little doodads. I picked these up by Sewology, they're called Snap Hooks, and I thought these would be really pretty to attach um, chunky charms to. If you're attaching them to mini albums or something like that, I think they're really pretty. They're four leaf clover snap hooks and they look like this. So I can get them when they're not shiny. They're really. There you go. That's what those look like. And I got them in silver. And then like this antique brass color. And these were regularly $2.99 and they were 40 or 50% off. And then I picked up some buttons. And these are not flat back buttons. They do have a back on them, so I either have to cut it off or make sure wherever it is I'm gluing it to doesn't it doesn't matter. Um so I picked up these. These were five, there are five pieces in each package, and they're $2.99 a piece regularly. And they were 50% off. These are the pink set right here. And they're flower buttons. So that's the pink one. So there's a light pink, two light pink, and three dark pinks. And these are the blue, and there are three darker pink and two, or three light, three darker blue and two lighter blue. More like an ice blue and a powder blue. And then I picked up the purples, and there are three darker purples and two lavenders. I like those. So I picked those up. Then I did pick up three more things by Sewology, but I want to show you what I spent my 40% off coupon on so you understand my other purchase. So I picked up this, they're called Boutique Snap Pliers by Babyville Boutique. And this is what they look like. And I picked up three packages of plastic snaps. These are the light pink snaps. There are 36 sets of snaps in here. These are the light pink ones. These are the white ones. And then I picked up the silver ones. And I may go back and get, they had a darker pink, a yellow, and a gold. But you can go on Amazon and they have a big variety pack that has lots of them in there. So, 
I've watched a tutorial probably two or three times now and I can't remember her name but I'm going to do the, the project and when I do the project I will link her tutorial in the description box but she makes these adorable laminated pouches to store embellishments and dies she stores her dies in them but she stores embellishments and dies and things like that in them and she uses these little snaps and paper she laminates one side of the paper she makes a gusset and she snaps the paper shut and it makes like a little snapped closed pouch and it works so well and I thought that would be such a great thing to have if I was going to send embellishments to somebody or if I wanted to send them you know a little package of sequin mixes or whatever I could put it in there and snap it closed and then they would have something that they could use for something you know or if I wanted to create like a little follow fox thing and I could put another piece of paper down in there and you'd have a little separation thing and you could reuse it to put coupons in or whatever you wanted to use it for but it would snap closed so it's reusable I thought that was a great idea. So, um, I wanted to pick it up and give it a shot. And like I said, I have, she does show how to use this. This comes with two shanks, three die trays, a 16, a 20, a 24, one plier, one all, one screwdriver, two rubber press heads, and two washers, and a complete use instruction, instructions included. It says, please note that pliers are factory preset for applying size 20 snaps. So, there you go. And, so, but, so it shouldn't be too, 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 too difficult to figure out. It does look like it will be a lot of fun to make. So I can't wait to make them and show you guys what they look like. And because you can make them in any theme and you can match your snaps to your paper. And it just looks like a lot of fun. So that's everything I picked up at Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree and Walmart. So. With that being said, I'm going to hop off here. I have a busy day tomorrow with my mother-in-law's surgery and some other things. So, I'm going to hop off here and get ready to go to bed. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. And I will probably see you guys again on Thursday or Friday. Until then, I hope you guys have a blessed week. And I know you guys will definitely be my thoughts. I can't wait to catch up on all of my comments and respond to you guys because I love to chat with you all. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget on your way out to hit that thumbs up. It really does help my channel and help me out a lot. And I always appreciate it. It means the world to me. So I will see you guys hopefully Thursday or Friday. And let me know down below what you guys want to see. And let me know what your what you were most interested in that I picked up. And I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.